Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Okay, the first app we're gonna be looking at is Lockstar, which is what a good lock was originally actually made for. So this allows you to customize your lock screen. So once it's been enabled at the top here, we can now edit our lock screen. So you get a ch choice to move the clock wherever you like. So if you want it down at the bottom there, you could do. You see it snaps and justifies itself either to the right or to the left or center. You can also move your notifications wherever you like on the screen, which is quite nice. So you could have a rather horrendous layout like that, or I think I'm going to pop mine up there and have maybe my notifications centralized down in the middle of the phone screen. Now you can also customize the shortcuts here. So we could change that to the phone. We could change it to anything we want, basically. And a bit later on, we can actually add additional icons down here, which I'll show you. So there are some different wallpapers you can choose from. I'll just quickly run through them. So that's quite a nice one. So I'm going to just go back to the position, maybe move my notifications up slightly. Now you obviously can't move the fingerprint scanner because that's under the glass and fixed. So that's the wallpaper there. If we go to the clock now, we can see all these different clock faces we can choose from. We can also set the size of the clock. So I'm going to stick mine on the maximum size and I'll just run through the different clock styles so you can have a quick look at how they appear on the screen. So you can see there's quite a few different ones to choose from. I'm going to just leave mine as one of these sort of speedometer type ones and we'll move on to the next item down here which is items. So here we can actually customize what is allowed to be displayed on the screen. So the face widgets, these, this will be the actual clock. So we can turn that on and off. We can enable or disable the help text down at the bottom. So the message to where to place your fingerprint on the scanner or any other sort of charging notifications that appear down here, we can turn those on and off. We can also set the shortcuts here. So we can have them as default or multiple. If we have them as multiple, we can then add additional applications to be used down here. So I'm just gonna add seven ones at the bottom there. And before I show you that on the screen in its final state, we can also customize the notifications to either have just the icons or to have the details with the icons as well, or completely turned off. So I'm gonna save that as icons only. 
And now on my lock screen, I've now got it, how I set, set it up with the additional seven applications down here, which I can quickly launch. That's a bit of a shame really that the lock screen doesn't stay on a bit longer than this, but that is what it's set to here. So even if the screen timer is set to two minutes, it doesn't seem to actually uh, stay on for two minutes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in the next one.